Hello guys, nice to have you back. Here is Frendes sidecar tutorial. So far we've learned about features in view, geometry, technique setting, which enable us quickly draw graphics and set basic techniques. This sort, group, flycut, and coage help us to simplify cutting path to be efficient. Today we're gonna learn a few more features of layers, task, and fine edge, as well as how to use machine control panel. Let's start with the machine control panel. First of all, we need to figure out the difference between floating coordinate and workpiece coordinate. Machine coordinate is a fixed system to facilitate flexible cutting task. Sipcut applies floating coordinate and workpiece coordinate. Direction definition in different coordinate system is the same. The only difference is zero point position. The white box is machine bed, and the red cross is laser head. On the floating coordinate, laser starts cutting from where it stands. Zero point is current position of laser head. Take this position. We can start right from the point. And if we move to another position, it will start right from it. Floating coordinate usually used in a small batch cutting task. Under workpiece coordinate, we've got a default zero point with its position zero, zero. A zero point is a user-defined position under workpiece coordinate. Subcut allows user set nine workpiece coordinates of different zero point. During the process, if the cutting head was moved to other position, so long as it gets an instruction to start, it will return to the graphic that next to the defined zero point and then start cutting. This coordinate used in mass production scenario that a large quantity plates of same size placed in same position on machine bed, which also requires a zero point of fixed position. Down below with these buttons, we can jog along the X, Y, Z axis. We can change jog speed and set a fixed jog distance. Jog cut used to cut off plates. When selected, the cutting head will start to follow. Blow while jogging. And here, we can set the jogging parameter. Beside, this is burst power. Sometimes, according to need, we move the cutting head to certain position. This mark was to mark the position with a little flag. And even if the head was moved away, by one click on Go Marker, we can go back to the position. We support six marks at most at the same time. Under floating coordinate, sometimes we may lose zero point position because of misoperation. Like we stop processing, move the head and directly start again. When that happens, 
in the drop-down menu of Marker. Select Marked 0 and then Go Marker. And we can return to the zero point of the last processing. The program will always keep the former zero point. And we've got shutter. Select it to enable laser. Aiming, which is the guide laser, and click laser to cut. Hit follow. The cutting hand will follow to the plate. In the machine control panel, we've got start, which means to start to process. And we can also pause, resume, and stop during the process. And here, fast resume is to resume without piercing. Or we can go back or forward to adjust the resume position. Set the move distance right down here when we stop processing without finishing it. And accidentally move away the cutting head. Click Position Locate. This button, we can get back to the breakpoint. Click Position Continue will directly resume from the breakpoint. We also support manually locate the breakpoint and resume from it. After the processing is stopped, Return to the zero point. Make sure this step goes first or you will lose the zero point position. And we can right click on the graphic. And we will find a locate here and a start from here. Just do as we want. Generally, we frame before processing to check border of cutting area. Click on control panel. Laser head will frame, that is dry run, the cutting zone on machine bed in accordance with join to be cut. We can check the cutting path by this simulation. We can change simulation speed above in the menu bar. It only demonstrates sequence in drawing, doesn't execute any motion commands in machine. Dry run is to travel along the designed tool path, not cutting it. Click dry run on control panel. This ahead will move along the tool path at preset cutting speed while gas laser and PLC process or disabled. Loop is for setting up the cycle times and the interval between each cutting task. As for this return zero, once we frame under the floating coordinate, the zero point will be fixed. If we moved the laser head away, we get back to this position by return zero. Besides, we can go to zero point and the like after process ends, or process selected graphics only.
we recommend selecting the soft limit protection so as to ensure that the laser head move within the machine bed and avoid it getting crushed. And thus, there would be risk if cancelled. Be careful. And here we have fine edge before process. Fine edge is to locate workpiece edge precisely and find the workpiece zero. We can find it on the menu bar in CNC module as well. When the plate is not uprightly lying on the machine bed, machine can find the plate angle by targeting three or more points on plate edge, then offset the cutting area with its angle. Click Find Edge to set the parameter. We input the real plate size and the plate margin we want, and choose where to start. We can either start from current po position or from a preset start point. Click the button to start from the current position to find edge right way. For a preset point, we need to move cutting head to the position first, then click to save the position as start point. And now, even if we move the head to other position, hit Find Edge button. It will start from the preset point. Also, after the setup, on the other hand, select this fine edge before process. The laser head will fine edge before processing if we don't need to do it instantly. But no matter what, do make sure there is plate right below for the head to follow, or the head may get damaged. When we cut sheet metal, we recommend a six point fine edge with higher accuracy. Now, apart from those, we have two more features to go. First, let's see the task. When we have an urgent order and need to insert a cutting task, place the plate in vacant position on machine bed. Don't move the original one. We stop processing. In the drop-down menu, we save a task file. together with the drawing breakpoint, fine edge result of plate and the program zero. Then we open the urgent one and get it processed. Now, as we can tell, the cutting head has been moved to other position. After we finished this one, load in the task file we just saved. And click Position Locate. And the cutting head will go back to where it just stopped. And the process can be continued. The other is DXF layer mapping. In the drop-down menu of layer, there is a DXF layer mapping. We already had graphics in different layers for cutting or marking when they were generated in the CAD. As it is imported into SideCut, we can appoint DXF layers into SideCut layers of cutting, marking, or layers that require different cutting techniques. 
say we have this PXF format file with three layers, a point PXF layer to a sidecut layer. Click OK, apply to layers. This is how we do. On the, on the right here, we've got this layer bar with 18 buttons. The path geometry marked by the second one will not be cut. Well, the first one used to reset the path to get cut. There are 16 layer options with 14 color buttons and the last two special options. With these layer buttons, path geometry appointed by the last but one will be processed first. It also works as marking layer. Parts marked by the last button will be processed at last. All right, these are for our Sidecar laser cutting software tutorial. In the tutorial, where we learned about main features of software, including view module, geometry module, technique setting, sorting, every single one in two mod module, layer mapping, task, as well as the whole control panel features. All of them are utilized very often. Do improve your level of proficiency on them. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. We will be glad to help you. Thank you for choosing Friendes. See you next time.